Hey guys, this is Dan Seifer from MobileBurn.com, and what we're going to do today is a quick rundown of the new Facebook for Playbook app. Uh, it's one of the most anticipated apps for the BlackBerry Playbook, and RIM just announced it this week at BlackBerry World and uh, made it quickly available. So let's take a look at it. Opening up the Playbook app that you can see there, it loads a splash page. And it jumps you directly into a news feed which you can then scroll through and take a look at your news feed. Scrolling's a little slow, it's not as smooth as we would like, um, but as with other mobile apps, you can pull down to refresh the page. Once you have a news, taken a look at an article, you can click uh, a post and then you can go ahead and like it there or comment on it. This little grid up here in the upper left brings up uh, a box of six options that you can jump directly to a news feed, profile, friends, messages, chat, or photos. So this does have built-in Facebook chat, which is kind of cool, and some people will pre appreciate that. Up here you've got three buttons, one for notifications, one for incoming chats. So if you are signed into chat and somebody pings you, you'll get a little notification there. And then one for settings. Uh, you can toggle your chat status on and off and then you can go into these uh, options here but they're going to kick you out into a uh, external website right there because that's not actually supported within the app taking a look at some of the options here the photos is kind of different allows you to view the photos you can see how many comments and likes are on particular albums brings up the photo large screen fairly quickly and you can page between the two one thing it does not have is multi-touch zooming so as you can see here it's not allowing me to zoom in at all it does not double tap to zoom either so no, no, no zooming whatsoever up here you can see this little uh, bar title bar that's popped up again shows how many comments and likes are on the photo itself and if there was a title for the photo it would show up right there as well uh, one thing that you can do right within the app, and it's kind of cool, is you can tag people. So uh, you can click on, on faces to tag them, and it's done right there within the app. And then you can pop uh, open to see the comments that are, are on the particular photo. Taking a look at chat here, if you are signed off, it will prompt you to log in and then you can toggle the login on and it will load up your friends list and then you can initiate a chat from there sign off before somebody starts chatting me one thing that's new is the way you browse your friends you've got this new grid of your friends photos that you can page through and then browse to them you can of course switch over to the more traditional list view and you can take a look at any pending requests that you might have one thing that the, the Facebook app does not support and as you can see here it's in landscape mode but there's no portrait orientation no matter what we have not locked the playbook into portrait uh, or in landscape excuse me so it should rotate if the app supports it and unfortunately the Facebook app does not which would be a lot easier to page through a news feed in portrait orientation um, RIM has, and, and Adobe, who Adobe uh, developed this app, claims that it's the first tablet optimized official Facebook app. And, and while that may be true, uh, there's a lot of white space here that we feel could have been better optimized. But for, it does serve its job. It does uh, give you access to your Facebook account. It's much easier than browsing in the browser to the website itself. Uh, when you want to post an update, you can post an update right there. You can attach a photo uh, quickly and easily as well, so it's a nice easy way to share photos from the playbook, which we haven't seen as of yet. And that's, a, that's it. It's a quick look at Facebook for the playbook. And this is Dan Seifert for MobileBurn.com. Thanks, guys.